Welcome to Royal Tutors. In today's lesson, we'll be learning about fractions. Fractions, fractions, and fractions. What are fractions? In, the, in today's lesson, you would know what are fractions, and let's go into it. Imagine this image. We have nine men in this image, holding hands together, but one of them is colored red, while others are colored black. What does this mean? We can see that out of nine men, only one is colored red, while others are colored black. So that means we call this one out of nine. That is one over nine. So this helps us to understand what fractions are. A fraction simply represents a part out of a whole or a part out of a group. That is one colored red out of total nine. That is one out of nine. So fractions is what? A part of a whole. That is one man colored red out of nine. Remember I said there are nine men. One of them is red. So therefore one red man out of nine men. So it is written as one over nine. Now let's look at the description of a fraction. What are fractions? A fraction has the upper part, the top part, which is also called the numerator. It's also called the what? The numerator. The upper part is called the numerator. Looking at the example we used in the previous slide, we saw that what? The upper part, which is the only considered number, which is the red man, is 1 out of 9. So that 1 becomes the numerator. Then we have the denominator, which is the bottom number in a fraction. The bottom number is the denominator, and it shows the total group, the total part of the group. In the image that we had earlier, we had 9 men, but only one is colored red. So we called it 1, which is the numerator, 9, which is the denominator. So that is how we add this. So we have 2, the numerator in this case, 3 is the denominator, and then we have the fractional bar, which is called the vinculum, that is the horizontal line that separates the numerator from the denominator. It also means division. But as we continue in this lesson, you would understand how to navigate your fractions and how to deal with them. All right. Types of fractions. Based on their numerator and denominator, we have three types of fractions. We have three types of fractions. The first one is the proper fraction. As you can see here, we have the proper fraction. And the proper fraction is known by a smaller numerator. That is, when your numerator is smaller than your denominator, then it is called a proper fraction. An example is 2 over 3. 2 is smaller than 3, which is the denominator. So we call this a proper fraction. While we have improper fraction. And this improper fraction is known by a bigger numerator. That is, when you have 3, which is bigger than 2, or you have 7, which is bigger than 5. So, we call this improper fraction. And the third type is the mixed fraction. A fraction that combines a whole number with a proper fraction. An example is 1 whole and 1 half. 1 whole and 1 half. Another example is your 3 whole and 1 fourth. That is 3 whole and 1 quarter. When you have 3 as the whole number, 1 over 4 as the proper fraction, this is called a mixed fraction. Another ex Now, these are the three types of fractions that we have. These are the three types of fractions that we have. Now, let's look at examples of proper fractions. Example of proper fractions. We mentioned earlier that a proper fraction is known 
by a smaller numerator. So when you have 2 over 3, this is a proper fraction. If you have 2 over 7, this is a proper fraction. If you have 5 over 9, this is a proper fraction. If you have 13 over 19, this is a proper fraction. You can do well to add your other fractions based on your knowledge of proper fraction. Add other fractions to this, indicating that what? You have a smaller numerator and a bigger denominator. So, so you can add your fractions to it and get your examples of proper fractions. You can have more examples. You can even have it as big numbers. 100 over 101. This is a proper fraction. 258 over 306. This is a proper fraction. These are all proper fractions because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Examples of improper fractions. We have improper fraction such that our numerator is bigger than our denominator. If you have 5 over 3, this is improper. If you have 8 over 7, this is in an improper fraction. If you have 99 over 50, this is an improper fraction. If you, you may even have a very big number, 2000 over 75, this is an improper fraction. So you can pause the video and add other examples so that you can generate more improper fractions as you continue in today's lesson. Then the third example of mixed number fraction of what? Mixed number fractions. Now we have mixed number fractions, numbers that have holes and proper fraction. Another example, we have three holes, then one over three. This this is an ex this is an example of a mixed number fraction. You can also have this four holes and two fifths. This is another fraction. You may have this seven holes and three sevenths. This is another fra another mixed number fraction. You may also have this five holes 5 8. This is another mixed number fraction. How do we know them? We know our mixed number fraction by the combination of whole numbers and fractions. So these are examples and many more. You can add other examples to your book as we continue in today's lesson. We have other types of fractions, other types of fraction. We have the decimal fraction. What are decimal fraction? Decimal fractions are fractions that have denominators that are powers of 10. They are written with a decimal point. For example, 5 over 10 is 0 0.5 and it is a decimal fraction for 1 over 2. You can also have 7 over 10. This is a decimal fraction for 0 0.7. You may also have 5 over 100, and this is a decimal fraction for 0 0.05. In today's lesson, we won't go into this, but we will learn this in our next video. Let's look at other examples of other types of fractions. We also have unit fraction. What are unit fraction? They are proper fractions where the numerator is 1. Proper fraction where the numerator is 1. These are called unit fractions. It can be 1 over 5, it can be 1 over 7, it can be 1 over 10, it can be 1 over 100. All these are unit fractions because they have the numerator to be 1. We also have other types of fractions. However, these groups of fractions, they compare two or more fractions. 
they compare so in this type we are talking about comparison now comparison types of fractions so we have the like fractions this compares two fractions where they have the same denominator so two fractions that have the same denominator are said to be what like fractions so we have 1 over 5 and 4 over 5 we have 3 over 7 and 5 over 7 they are what like fractions because they have the same denominator that is they share the same denominator so these are called what like fractions then we have another example which are unlike fractions unlike fractions are fractions that have different denominators they have different denominators an example is given below 1 over 5 and 7 over 8 now look at this if you have 6 over 11 and 7 over 13 these are what unlike fractions why are they unlike because they have different denominators because they have different denominators then we also have another example and the third type is the equivalent fractions the equivalent fractions as two fractions or more are said to be equivalent if they look different but they represent the same value for example 1 over 5 represents the same value as 2 over 10 by, by multiplying this by 2 and the denominator by 2 you get 2 over 10 so these two are said to be equivalent fractions or you have 3 over 7 or you multiply by 3 you multiply this by 3 and then you have 9 3 times 7 is 21 so 9 over 21 is is an equivalent fraction with 3 over 7 so these are the other types of fractions now let's look at addition of like fractions remember our like fractions are fractions that have the same denominators now let's add fractions that have the same denominators for example 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5 these are like fractions when you have like fractions how do you add them we add like fractions by dealing with the denominator by dealing with the numerator and choosing a common denominator since the denominator we have 5 here we also have 5 here so we pick the same denominator as 5 then we deal with the numerator 1 plus 2 and this gives us 3 over 5 another example we have 3 over 7 plus 3 over 7 these are what fractions they are like fractions as well so the denominator remains the same 7 and we deal with the numerators which is 3 plus 3 and this gives us 6 over 7 another example we have 2 over 19 plus 15 over 19 the same way we've been doing it your denominator remains the same as 19 then you deal with the numerator which is 2 plus 15 and that gives you 17 over 19 so this is how you do your addition of like fractions this is how we do our addition of what like fractions can you quickly take a short drill what will be the answer to this 2 over 15 plus 4 over 15 what would be the answer to this question the answer to this question should be found in your book can you quickly do it pause the video and see how you're able to do this and if you're able to do it easily or did you struggle with it 
pause the video and see. Alright, so I believe you've done it. So let's see the answer. The denominator remains the same as 15. Then the numerator, we have 2 plus 4. And our answer is 6 over 15. So this is our answer. 6 over 15. Remember, you can reduce this to the lowest term. But this would be the, the concept of lower term and lowest term would be learned in our next video. Alright, let's go to subtraction of like fractions. If you have fractions with the same denominator, let's say 7 over 15 to be minus or take away 3 over 15. Since the denominators are the same, like just as we have done for our addition of like fractions, we do the same for our subtraction. And that goes thus, this denominator remains the same as what? 15. Then our numerator, 7 minus 3. And that gives us 7 take away 3 is 4. And we have 4 over 15. We have 4 over 15. We also have another example here. We have 17 over 21 minus minus 5 over 21. What will this give us? Remember the denominator remains the same to be 21. Then we deal with the numerator which is 17 minus 5. And this will give us 12 over 21. Remember 12 over 21 can still be reduced further but that will be done in our next class. As we can see, 12 is divisible by 3, 21 is also divisible by 3. And we can reduce further, reduce our fraction further by dividing by 3 to get 12 divided by 3, 21 divided by 3 to give us 4 over 7. So our final answer should be 4 over 7. We'll do this more in our next video. But let's continue with our subtraction of fractions. Quickly take this short drill. What is 15 over 19 minus 13 over 19? These are examples of like fractions. Can you quickly practice the subtraction and see how well you are able to do it? So 15 over 19 minus 13 over 19. Take away and see what your answer would be. Pause the video and quickly do it. You're welcome. I believe you were able to do it without stress and without struggle. Now let's look. Let's look at the answer. The denominator remains the same, which is 19. Then we do 15. That is, we deal with the numerator alone. 15 take away 13 to give us what? We have 15 take away 13 will give you 2. And the answer is 2 over 19. So this is how we do our subtraction and addition of like fractions. I believe you enjoyed today's video and you learned something. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video. Bye!